Hi, I'm Dr. Kent. Welcome to this first video in a series about this beauty, Simba, the Yorkshire Terrier. And with me tonight is also Julia, Simba's owner, but she is behind the camera, so you might not see much of her tonight. And also Julia's mother, Ekaterina. Hi. So you had Simba for about a week now. Yeah. So it's uh, yeah, it's exactly one week. So how does it feel? It's your first dog, isn't it? Yes, it's uh, the first dog since ever, and it's it's really exciting. She is really sweet and nice and kind, but of course it was a lot of stress before you know what to do with the puppy and how to do things. And how old is she now? She's ten weeks and three days today. Okay. Then she's in a period. It's been about 8 to 12, 14 weeks when it's very important to socialize the dog. To let her experience new things, new environments, new people, other animals. And it must be positive things. Mm. She mustn't be scared, of course. It must be positive things, fun things. And uh, so when you got her from the breeder... It was last, last Friday. And then she was vaccinated. She yes. had an exam, veterinary exam. Yes. And the de she was dewormed. Yeah. And uh, microchipped. Yeah, that's true. Okay. So this is a vet has done a clinical examination of Simba before she's sold, and it says something about skin irritation in the orifice to the left ear. It was damp. I think we'll have to check that to see if it's okay. And also she had some ocular discharge, some discharge from her eyes. But it says clear, it's not pus, pus or something. And it says her uh, mandibular jaw, her lower jaw was a bit narrow on the right side. Might mean that her canine tooth can touch her her upper jaw when she closes the mouth but it might disappear when she grows and also she had dew claws on her hind legs can yeah. you show us oh here they are just small ones the breeders are not allowed to remove them by themselves now before they just use the sharp scissors and cut them when the puppy was one to three days old. But now it's illegal to do that, a vet must do it. So here we have the re registration form to the Swedish Kennel Club that shows she's a purebred Yorkie. And her full name is Asela's Most of Love Estelle. And here I can see the vaccinations she got when she was about eight weeks old. And it was against distemper HCC, which is a liver disease, parvovirus and kennel cough. So the next vaccination will be when she's 12 weeks, weeks old. Uh, I was thinking about the deworming. It's been done once before yeah. she sold the yeah. dog. And uh, often they do it again when the, just before the next vaccination at 12 weeks old. But then I have a suggestion that we try this instead. Kolamasken, check the worm. Instead of just deworming the dog, we check if it really has any parasites, so if it needs deworming. Because it's just like bacteria, if you try to kill them, they might be resistant to antibiotics or deworming medications. So with this, everything is included. You tape it together and then you just post it. And then a few days later, you get a reply if the dog has roundworms, uh, coccidia, lung worms, and maybe some more, the most common worms. And also, she's in an age now when it's important to train her, desensitize her, so you can, you can touch her, examine the ears, eyes, the mouth, the claws. So she's used to that when she grows up and becomes an adult. 
Your vet will love you if you learn how to do that. <laughs> so then we begin to check her ears. It was the left ear that was not okay, was it? Yeah, that's right. Are yes. you smelling? Yes, it smells. Do you feel the difference? Yes. Healthy, uh, not healthy. A healthy ear healthy shouldn't really smell anything. Or it should smell like the rest of the dog. But she has, a, it's not a normal smell, so she has an otitis inflammation in her ear. If I compare the smell to this ear, that doesn't smell anything. So we must check that. It's important that you learn her to get used to that you are in her mouth so you can brush her teeth when she grows up without her biting you <laughs> and also the toes the nails so she gets used to that you're touching her toes and her nails it's nothing dangerous so now i think we will go to the clinic and check her ear oh so now we are at the clinic and I'm going to try to use the otoscope to look down in her ear canal. Let's see how that goes. I would like to see how much secretion is there. But she might be too small to do this. She has hair growing inside the ear canal. That's not so good. It will keep wax and things there. Okay, we have tried to remove some hair from the ear canal. Now we'll try to take a swab sample from the secretion there. Yes. <coughs> I didn't get much. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, here we have some secretion from the air. And now I'm gonna put it on this slide. Okay, now we have looked in the microscope and I hope you can see the picture too. And we found no yeast uh, fungus but cocci bacteria, staphylococci or streptococci. So now we are going to treat her with this, it's uh, chlorhexidine and Tris EDTA. Uh, and then it's uh, important to know the anatomy of the ear canal. The dogs have both a vertical canal and a horizontal canal. It's not as in humans when you, where you have just a horizontal canal. And that is very important when you clean the ear with this. So if you remember the anatomy, we will have to take the tip of the ear and stretch it upwards. So we straighten the ear canal and we fill it with this. <laughs> we take a grip like that and massage the air. So, <laughs> and then we wipe it clean with this cotton. There you have some. So, we don't secretion. need to soak the cotton with this. No, no. Just you fill up the air yeah. canal with yeah. this. And you take a grip like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw what you and, did. And uh, if it's possible, you continue to stretch the air upwards like that. Shall we do it one more time? Fill it up. And now it's better. So that was all for today. Uh, the next video will be about in about two weeks when she's 12. Then we hope we have the result from the uh, check the worm sample we sent to the lab and we hope her ear is well. So as we say in Sweden, hey do! Hey do!